views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Oh, my goodness. Hey, everybody, welcome. It's so great to have all of you tuning us in, turning us on. And, you know, uh, my very special guest here, uh, Nomi Bahar, is joining us here in a minute. And I'm going to add her on in Skype in a hot second, I think, Mr. Betty. But first, let me say hello to you. How are you, Mr. B? B's probably trying to get Nomi right now. Well, I want to just say to everybody, I am excited about today's show uh, for a lot of reasons. One is that we have decided this year that we are going to, uh, thanks to all of you, I'm not going to take like any credit whatsoever for this, but we are this year uh, ushering in the year of accelerated expansiveness. Uh, and somebody emailed me, and all of you guys emailed me. Let me just say this to everybody out there listening. If you ever want to reach out to me directly, I have from day one said we've made it so easy. Look, info, I-N-F as in Frank, O, at the, T-H-E, Dr. D-R, patshow.com. And for those of you, we have also setting up a portal, a great way, you know, for all of you out there that listen to the show either live or welcome to our international audience because I know you guys are listening from all over the world, but you're listening at different times. And one of the things that, you know, I love about this show with Nomi today is that if we're looking at and truly looking at gates of power, actualize your true self, then here's the deal for me today in talking about it. Uh, I want to absolutely share the gift of knowing uh and what does that mean well the gift of knowing as i'm learning about it now at this ripe old age of dare i even say is that um knowing that divine guidance is my go-to today so what does that mean You know, the other day I shared a story about what it was like to learn the lessons of being on the monkey bars in New York City, right? I literally was learning this lesson and I shared this. And what I shared was, look, there are many things that you can learn on the streets of New York. I think that what I learned growing up on the streets of New York helped me for the rest of my life. Now, What I've learned moving to the West Coast is helping me for the rest of my life. But when we're talking about actualizing our true selves, as Nomi has done and has taken this very powerful message out into the world, I mean, like super crazy, amazing, powerful. Here we are. What does this mean? So are we going to wait? Are we going to stay in this place of stuckness this year I, as I've said, accelerated expansiveness in abundance. Boom. That is the energy that not only am I talking about, but all of us here on Transformation Talk Radio, the network, it is a year of completion. But how can we go about that? How can we go about that by tapping into gates of power? How do we do that? Well, Nomi has been telling uh, all of us for quite some time that there is a way to do it. There's a method by the way. And how is it 
that she gets to step out into the swirl, look at her total self, work with others, and watch the amazing transformation that happens. That's why she's here today, because I would love to have whatever she's drinking put in my water. Nomi, welcome to the show. Thank you, Pat. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to have some of, some of whatever that you're putting into your water put into my my water, and it's great to have you here. I, I want to start out with this um, this theme uh, this year. And people ask me, Nomi, they say, like, look, you know, like, listen, man, how do you come up with these things? We don't. We are like, we go into a place and we say, what's going to be our theme? And then we get some answers. So last year, we went to that place, and what we got was accelerated expansiveness and abundance. Now we move into this year, and it's kind of making sense why things last year didn't happen the way we thought and why they're happening even better. So we have started a positivity movement. What do you think about this energy, right? You know, how do the gates of power talk to accelerated expansiveness or not? Are, am, am I on track or do I need to start over? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You're very, you're very much on track. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> you, you see, um, who is the accelerator, the expanded inside of us? There is a part inside of us that I call the expanded self. And that's the only part that can truly expand and attract abundance. So we have to, so uh, here we are. I'm in, the, in the, the center of what my method is. I, yeah. I don't know if I should continue talking I, I, about that. But yes, I, I want you to continue talking because okay. you know, this is what I love about the style that I have you know, to do radio. It is so less about me and more about the message that you're going to bring forth for our listeners. So yeah, I'm, I'm ready to sit here and go with the flow with you. Okay. So <laughs> we all are so passionate about being uh, everything that we can be, right? Yeah. Um, not all of us, maybe most of us. Mm -hmm. We have to, we want to develop our abilities, our talents. We want to be fulfilled, peaceful, loving, healthy, successful. The big question is how? Because we can dream about it, we can want that, but we need a path, a practical path that's going to take us there. And the most important thing is to connect, first of all, to the part of us that I call the expanded self. Yeah. We have three little people sitting inside of us. I'm just saying that as a joke. Yeah. But yeah. we have three elements, three energies, three ways of being that sit within our psyche. One is our emotional self. That one holds all the emotions and all the emotional imprints over lifetimes, okay? Yes. So there's a lot of emotions there, like a big ocean of emotion. I then like that, have, ocean that. Of, emotion. of emotion. Yeah, it's emotional self is filled with emotions. Nice. Then we have the defensive self, because as little kids, we were this emotional open being, but we got hurt, we got bruised, we got knocked around. Then we start to develop what I call the defensive self. And that self is a construct of different defensive mechanisms that help us survive our conditions as little people, okay? Yeah. Now, um, that is not really truly us, is something that we build around us as a protective coat. And people have all kinds of protective coats. Some people are charmers, some others are manipulators, some other ones are care caretakers and pleasers. And there's a lot of ways yeah. to create this protective coat. 
Uh, but what it does, it covers up your emotional and actually suffocates it. So these two elements, before you start the real work, are really the stuckness. This is why we get stuck. Yeah. The emotional is full of wonderful emotions, but also some pain and unresolved traumas. But it is covered with a big protective coat by the defensive, and it cannot go anywhere. That's the problem. But we do have a third element, thank God, and it is a drop of God within us, that is called the expanded self. And that self is capable of healing the emotional and freeing it and relaxing the defensive and balancing it. But you need to do the work. And I've created um, a whole set of practices and, and processes, exercises, mm -hmm. to do that, to step into the expanded self and to learn how to heal and coach the two other aspects. Mm so that you can begin to have a unified self, like a little unified family under the leadership of your expanded self, because that's the one who is going to call abundance into your life. This is the one that has the grand vision for your life. This is the expanded one. So you want to lead with that one. So that's one very important element that I teach in Gates of Power Method. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, sh should I go on? Or yeah, I I want to I want to take a short break and come back because you know for folks that are listening to this show, you know, uh, two things I want to say to everyone. One is when you hear Nomi, when you hear us talk about you know the Gates of Power and then the method, of course, you know there are two things that I love about this. Uh, at minimally two things. One is we get to take this journey with Nomi about self-actualization, but then there's an end game. So what is the end game? Well, here's what it is. There's a reason we've renamed the network Transformation Talk Radio and the Transformation Network, because guess what? Self-transformation. That is what we're talking about. What Nomi is doing is we're going to throw out the old paradigm of this, and that old paradigm we'll talk about when we come back, but many of you know it. Uh, it is the one that says, you know, transformation may or may not happen in my lifetime. It takes a long time, and it's going to be hard. When we come back, we're going to talk about what the gates are. But most importantly, why is this time now for the most amazing, epic transformation of your life? And why is this Gates of Power method so powerful? Stay tuned, everyone. We'll be right back. I'm clumsy and my head's a mess because you got me growing taller every day. Almost everyone at some time in their lives ask themselves, what am I? Most of our questions are ego-generated and simply don't address the problem of our false self. It's time to relax your ego and embody your soul. Dr. Dan Cohen, neurologist, inventor, and author, has created tools to awaken a new way to transform from who you thought you were into what you truly are. Visit toolstoawaken.com today. Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. The life you're dreaming of is waiting for you to say yes. 
Together, we can create a powerful, love-centered world where business is not a competition, but a community of highly conscious individuals making a positive impact in their own lives and the lives of others. Fun, flexible, fabulous. You make the rules. We offer the tools. Connect with Shelly today to learn more at Live, Love, Learn with Shelly. That's S-H-E-L-L-E-Y dot com. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie Deleuze at info at ronniedeleuzeonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie Deleuze, your partner in wellness. Wow, everyone. Oh, my gosh. Nomi Makar is joining me here today. And I want to say to everybody, this book is fabulous. But more importantly, it is an invitation to transform your life. And Nomi's joining us here today. We're going to walk through what the gates of power are about. But what does it actually mean, actualize your true self? And I love the way, Nomi, I love the way that you explain this and the work that you do with people. You know, before the break, we were, you were beginning to explain this even further. And I agree with you. We do need to start to talk about some of these transformations in ways that people can understand it. Otherwise, how do we even know where to start? Right. Right. Because, yeah, it's confusing and it's hard. So I, I have created the method to make it um, accessible for people, to make it, to make the path shorter because we don't have, we don't, we don't have time to drag around. <laughs> not, not the way it's going. We need, we need to get it we need to be passionate, we need to commit, and we need to go for it. Mm. And we need the right roadmap, the right tools, so that we can go, 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 and get there. So let's talk about the gates. And uh, for folks that have not heard you on radio before or not familiar with the book, uh, what I want to say to everyone, wait till you hear what these gates of power are. But, you know, there's something really important, Omi, that I, I think you and I have to talk about. I have heard this time and time again. I heard it when I had my corporate HR job, how difficult it is, and for women more than men, to even say the word power. What have, what have you, what kind of feedback have you gotten about this? Is it really as hard as we once thought it was to say, wait a minute, gates of power? Uh, oh, that's such a not such a good word. What, can you talk to just that word for a oh. minute? And then let's go through the gates. Okay. Well, you know, power. Um, when you are in the center of your being, guided by that expanded self, that expanded self works with divine, works with universal consciousness. That one is uh, a partner with the great spirit, okay? That, that is power. We, we can't shy away from that. We are, we have uh, a piece of godhood, uh, a piece of spirit sitting inside of us, expressing as us. So love you know the, the the passion to 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 help people the the passion to to express to um 
embrace the world of the human family, that's God yeah. within us. Yeah. So I, 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 I don't think it's not a question of being humble. It's not a, a question of being afraid of the world. This is not external power of manipulation and control. This is the power that is God given to us that we're here to express. It's it's a, a beautiful power. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, you work with people all over the globe. I mean, you're out there, you're chatting with people. What do you think the greatest obstacle right now today? today what's the what is the greatest obstacle that individuals face that people face in really looking at you know each self-actualization and self-transformation what is getting in our way here because you've laid this out beautifully for people what do you find really are some of the stumbling blocks people have i really believe that um what they have now they always had in a way that is that defensive self that is trying to compensate for insecurities that are not resolved. So when people are going after um, external success of money and status and all of that, when people are immersed in greed and in trying to manipulate and control and get gain, the external power. The whole society is backing that up. Yeah. This is supposed to be a good thing. Right. And it's and it's all defensive power. It's not true power. And it's because certain insecurities are not resolved. And it's because the expanded self has not been integrated inside people's life, daily life, and, you know, people are not moving and breathing and acting and, and, and expressing from that expanded self. So they're looking for cheap power. Uh, mm. All right. So they're yeah. into it. They're running after the symbols of, quote, power. Mm -hmm. And they're drowning in that. And then they get very frustrated inside because that does not fulfill you, oh. really. I mean, mm. you could get, okay, 30 houses, you could get to be uh, famous, whatever, whatever. You know, but we know a lot of famous people who just, who kill themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we were actually talking about this today. You know, uh, I was talking with a colleague of mine today, and we were talking about, you know, um, of course, in the United States, we have a pop culture here. And he said to me something like, has anybody heard from Lindsay Lohan? And I thought, wow, that is an interesting question. Because, you know, here we are in, in a culture where we go from, you know, one extreme over here immersed in our pop culture and what shoes somebody's wearing and what dress to on the other end of watching news uh, 24 seven. And so, you know, the question then becomes, uh, how do we look at the gates of power? And most people would ask this question, Omi, they would say, where do I even start? Where do I start? I've got a really big dream. You know, Pat, we have been emailing you. We love the theme for this year. And, oh, I feel overwhelmed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I understand. I've organized it all. Gates of Power Method is such a beautiful, effective system that it organizes all of that for you. You see, when when I had to, to, to do my own transformation, I had to piecemeal it, and yeah. most people do. You go to yeah. the therapist, for here, you go to meditation, for here, you go to your coaching, for here, you're going to go to your nutritionist, for here, blah, blah, blah. And this method takes all of that and puts it under the same roof because I'll explain in a minute how all the seven facets of life are here and they're all being worked simultaneously 
They're all being energized, unblocked, empowered, nurtured together. So that's the power of this. You don't, I mean, you do have to go to your doctor. I, I can't say I'm a doctor, but you will have to go and do your blood tests. But your spiritual work, your physical energetic work, your emotional work, uh, your creative, everything can be done here. So that's, that's, that's pretty great. I mean, I wish that when I was young and going through my stuff, that I had gates of power. Yeah, I know. I was thinking you that know? myself. It would yeah. save me a lot of years, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think that, you know, it, it doesn't really kind of like, look, you know, it doesn't really, uh, we don't grow out of, I don't believe, we don't grow out of the need to have tools uh, like gates of power at our fingertips. We don't grow out of the need because this is something I want to talk with you about when we come back. You know, it is like, okay, yeah, what happened What happened to that dream you had? What happened to that idea of creative expression that you had? Right. You know, where did that go? You know, what did we do to literally pour or douse out that flame of passion you had? When we come back, we're going to talk about each of the gates, how it relates to our full expression, self-actualization, and self-transformation. And we're going to let you find out a lot more about my very special guest today, everybody. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Dr. Pat Show. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases, it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger and the healing epic. The 24th annual WOW Conference, United We Change the World, is February 11th through the 15th. Featured guests are Dr. Christine Page on Creative Dragon Energy. Dr. Susan Shumsky will show you how to awaken your third eye. And Mira Kelly will present a two-day intensive workshop on Beyond Past Lives. Join WOW for intimate, experiential, life-changing workshops and evening presentations that will inspire you. You can choose two half-day workshops and receive one half-day workshop for free through December 31st. Join a supportive community of women on their journey to discover and develop their passions and purpose in life. Women of Wisdom is the place to be. This February 11th through the 15th, go to thewowconference.org. That's the W-O-W conference.org to discover all the diverse offerings WOW has to offer you. Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, identify your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst and clairvoyant who uses her intuitive and energetic gifts to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into to help. Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. Hey, 
everybody. It's so great to be connecting with all of you. Yeah. I mean, boy, I'll tell you, you know, you talk about a change in energy and a shift of energy. And, you know, some people are talking about Mercury in retrograde. We're not talking about that a whole lot. We're talking about, you know, what is it, uh, what does it mean to actualize your true self? And even if you know what it means, how do you go about it? Nomi, would you take a minute and let folks know the best way they can find out about you, get a copy of your book, find out about speaking, workshops, and everything else, if you would? Okay. So the website is uh, the three W's dot gatesofpower.com. Um, the email address is info at gatesofpower.com. That's pretty easy. Um, we have the Facebook and the Twitter and all of that and all those buttons and the blogging, the blogs. It's all buttons clearly on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, phone number, should I give phone numbers? Yes, anything the you'd like. Office is 212-877-0346. Um, I am going to explain a little later about Gates of Power in terms of what it is and also the fact that it is a seven level program. So um, we have workshops going on and you obviously have to complete level one to go to level two and so on and so forth. It's very much like martial arts. The white black, you know, the white belt to the black belt, and people can do anything in between, um, because anytime you do any of the levels, you're getting tremendous amount out of it. So um, we are uh, located in the New York area, and we're doing the workshops there. Uh, for now, we probably will be traveling around at some point Great. and um, I do individual sessions uh, with people all around the, the world either they come here physically or they do Skype with me and I train them but even one on one they go through all the levels and they become everything that they can be so uh, not to worry if you cannot come to uh, do a workshop at, at this moment. You could always do Skype sessions with me and um, yeah, and go through everything as if you were in a group. Of course, the group has its own beautiful components that you can, you can only experience when you're in a group of people working together, crying together, laughing together dancing together and so on and so forth so yeah. oh it's great that's great um you know so one of the things that i want to make sure we talk about is what are these gates and i would love for you to walk us through and and give us you know uh just give us an idea of what is the role each gate plays in our transformation okay yeah. Okay. So um, first, I want to say that I want I want to use an image. I want us to imagine ourselves um, as a diamond that has seven facets, and in the center of the diamond sits the light of the soul, the light of the diamond, the light of the soul. And as I explained before, that light has three colors the fuchsia color for the emotions, the blue color for the defensive, and the exuberant gold for the expanded. Mm. So that light hopefully needs to be freed and glowing. Now that light travels through those seven facets of the diamond. And also the light from outside travels within I'm not really sure that that's how it goes in a real diamond, but this is just a metaphor. So that uh, soul power that we have travels through the facet that I'm going to call the gate of the body. 
So it's a channel, it's a gate, it's an opening. Of course, our soul is expressing itself through the body. That is very clear. Now, if there is a blockage within the soul, there is going to be a blockage in the gate because the gate is reflecting what's happening inside our soul. I hope I'm explaining it clearly enough. Yeah, yeah. The next gate, the yeah. next facet of this diamond, which is us, is the gate of emotions. Of course, our soul is expressing itself through emotions. Emotions are the river of the soul. And if there is a blockage there, that gate is going to be blocked to some degree, partly, whatever. The next gate is the gate of dialogue, which is the gate of relationships. Relationships with ourselves, relationships with others, with life. Here again, whatever is happening at the center there is going to be reflected in the gate. And we want that gate to be open and free. Just like we want the body gate to be open and free, the emotions gate to be open and free, and the relationship gate to be open and free. The next gate is the gate of creative expression. That's a beautiful gate. It's the fun gate. We call it the fun gate. We are all expressive. We're all creative. We're all artists to some degree. And we love to express ourselves creatively. We love it. And if we're blocked within, then that gate is going to reflect that. Sometimes you find in artists, I'm thinking of myself as a young person, I was very blocked, but that gate was very open. Um, maybe because of being an artist, uh, I don't know, by the grace of God, but it can happen that that gate could be open even though there's a lot of blockage. Um, the next gate is the gate of life path, which means your life purpose, your life mission, your life big lessons, um, the things that are most important for you to create and contribute in this life. This is the gate of life path. And uh, needless to say, a lot of people are blocked because if they're blocked, they're not sitting in their expanded self. Uh, they're not really able to walk clearly on, on that path. Mm -hmm. And then there is the gate of silence, stillness, prayer, meditation. Very tough gate. We are so addicted to the noise, to the doing, to the compensations of all kinds of things that we are not, we don't know how to just be still. And uh, if we're not still and we don't know how to do that, we don't feel the pulsation of the universe. We don't feel our oneness. We don't really know um, that sense of oneness with all things. And so we're missing on a, on a very, very important thing. So the gate of silence, and then the gate of knowledge. Gate of knowledge is any kind of knowledge really leads to the knowledge of life and living. So that gate must be open all the time. We need to learn new things. We need to be open to new things. So as you can see, those seven gates comprise our life, the expression of our soul. And if one or two or three or four are blocked or partially blocked, we cannot be as exuberant, as whole, as complete, as expressive as we're, we're meant to be. 
so in gates of power method we first of all liberate that center that soul part we liberate um we we take care of the emotional we heal that we relax the defensive so it could be just protective not defensive and we learn to lead with our expanded self once that light is um, being nurtured and the relationships between all these three is healthy then that light can start radiating through the gates and we do a lot of work to free the gates to look at them and see okay what is blocked what is misaligned and what's the source of it and how do we clear it so all these gates all these facets are being liberated and opened at the same time when we're doing the work even when we start level one we're starting to already do that work I want to ask you a question about the nature of self-actualization or the nature of uh, someone recognizing their true self you know this is really a, a question that has come up already on the show I can't tell you how many times uh, so far this year is it's almost as if we're so used to operating in a certain way right, right. We're so used to operating in a certain way that it's hard for us to recognize what the true self looks like. And I wanted to ask you this question, you know, what would we, what would we be able to say to folks today listening to the show to be paying attention to? What, what, what could we say to them so that there's some clarity around okay. what they want to create? Yeah. Yes, I understand. You cannot yeah. create from your defensive. All right. See, a lot of people, we live by the law of the defensive self, and we don't even know it because yeah. we think it's our self. You know, we've created it very young, three, four, already it's, it, it, it starts formulating itself. So um, it, I'll give myself as an example. Um, I lived in a household where you didn't get any attention, you didn't get any nurturing um, for reasons, my, you know, my 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 parents just didn't have it in them, and I grew up in Israel. And there was wars, and it was very tough. So, in no way am I blaming them or holding it against them. They were I love them, uh, but I didn't get that. So, what did I create for myself? I created myself to be a chronic exceller. <laughs> okay. Yes. And then I excelled in everything and excelled in everything and excelled in everything. And, and it, it looks like, oh, but that's a great, that's a great defensive self. What's wrong with that? That's really great. No, it's not great because that was, I couldn't feel my feelings. I had to excel all the time. That's number one. I couldn't feel my expanded self because I had to excel all the times. So I, I, excelled and excelled and I got very sick yeah you know so I was operating from a defensive self not my true self so I am saying to people to if if you want to begin to start this sense of what is my true self start differentiating when am I in my emotional self that's kind of easy because it's emotions I'm okay. I'm feeling this and this. I'm sitting in my emotional self. Okay. Yeah. But when when am I actually operating on my need to get love, to get approval, to look good, to be in control, to be right, to be famous, to be power, you know, all of that. All of that is efforts compensating that's not you that's that's a big that's a big deal in the work that I'm doing with people differentiating between the aspects who is who and what are they doing and where they're coming from 
And then start getting in touch with the wisdom inside of you, yeah. your intuition, your compassion, your sense of oneness with people, your sense of desire to love and embrace and nurture. That's your expanded self. You know, one of the things, Nomi, that I, I, I want to kind of get back to and, you know, get full circle about is this idea of embracing a lofty dream. And I wanted to talk with you about this and from, a, you know, from a number of different places, because the gates of power actually really, really speak to some of the dynamics uh, that the collective might be having. So let me just give you one specific example. You know, in the world we live in today, people are still in a level of fear and insecurity over the, dare I say, the economic conditions of the past eight to 10 years. Mm -hmm. And they, and simultaneously, they are really struck and longing for the enactment of a passion, a purpose, and a dream. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I have heard this more times than I can even imagine so far, just a short time into the year. I'm sure that is a dynamic that you're quite familiar with, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I say to people, you're here to be your passion. That's how you're going to make your money. You're here to do what divine assigned you to do. That's you got talents, you got abilities, you got gifts, you got a heart, you got passion. You got to follow that. What I, what else are you going to be doing? Thank you. Yeah, because if we're not following that then, you know, so this is me, I'm going to keep it really simple, you know, based on a lot of my own experience, but also working with other people. If we are not following that, aren't we then following fear in some way, form or fashion? Yes. Yeah. We're following fear and then we're following defensiveness. Yeah. Fear yeah. is in the emotional, mm -hmm. but defensive self comes immediately to compensate for that and goes into, well, I'm going to do this, or I'm going yeah. to do this, and I'm going to do this. And it's all of that is not your true self. And you can spend a whole life living in the wrong camp. <laughs> right? I'm telling you, I, I so relate to that. I spent 24 and a half years in corporate America, and from day one, I knew that I had the gumption to, I wanted to be an artist, I want to be a musician. So you're, you know, you're speaking to somebody that totally gets it. I'm not saying that I wasted 24 and a half years doing that. I learned a ton. As a matter of fact, pretty much everything I learned in a Fortune 50 company uh, and going from pushing a mail cart to a senior executive mm -hmm. has helped me in the, in the world I am today. But I, I don't know that that was really the right camp for me. <laughs> right, right. But that's what we do, right? We, we vacillate until if we are in tune and we want to go back to our heart, then we do. And you did. You see? Yes. You see? Yes. For me, it was the other way around. In a way, I was, I was you know, I, I was in the army, like, after high school, and my parents expected, my, my dad especially, expected me to be a scholar. And when I came and I had this intuition, I, I came and I said, I'm, I'm going to, um, to the Academy for the Performing Arts to be an actor. He looked at me and he said, you, are, you have no talent and I'm not paying for this. <laughs> And, and I didn't know that. I, 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 I thought that maybe I, I don't have any talents. I, I just felt that that's where I have to go. I didn't know why. I just felt, oh, I, I, in my heart, I know I have to go there. So I went in spite of everything. You know, I, thank God I got the scholarships. Because he didn't <laughs> talk to me for three years. He didn't talk to me. He didn't pay and he didn't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> so well, that's the story of following your your bliss even though you 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 don't know 
where is it coming from? It's like the still voice inside is saying, so you follow. Yeah. You know, I think this is really the key now. I was listening to someone uh, talk about, and, uh, and, and this is directly related to, you know, one of the gates, I believe. I heard someone talking about this is a year of intuition, imagination, and what that really means. It is really the year that, and I don't know if it's just this year, but really there's a, there's a really interesting theme about the, how to get things done now meaning the old paradigm that we've learned, just like you were talking about, I'm right there with you, you know, success, accomplishment, do it, do it, do it, you know, instead of into it, into it, into it. Right. And so how does our intuition fit in to, you know, what you're helping people with in the Gates Power? Again, I have to go back to the expanded yeah. self. I always yeah. go back oh, to that because that's our true self. There, if you can step into the big shoes of your expanded self mm. and start leading your life from there, again, coaching the two other aspects, the human aspects need love and attention and coaching. Okay. But who is the visionary? Who is the one that says, this is where we need to go? It's your expanded self. It's your true self. So you must learn to step into those shoes. Uh -huh. mm. To sit there, to think like that, to feel like that, to really embrace that part and know that that is you. And that's the part that has the intuition. That's the yeah. part I just told that story of a young woman who is 20, yeah. I don't know why I'm going to acting school because I never showed, I, I never, I wasn't like a, a, you know, a child actor or anything. Yeah. I, I don't know who, who some, somebody, that, that was my expanded self. I didn't know her then. Yeah. You know? But it's like, she goes, you got to go here. This is where we're going. And I'm going like, okay. <laughs> you see? So, and I've, I've done that many times after that in my life. I learned to trust that higher intuition and follow it. Even if I didn't understand how do how am I going to get there? This is kind of crazy. You know? I, I, yeah. I did follow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, thank you so much for, for first of all, thank you for uh, all that you're that you do thank you for taking a very very powerful message out into the world but also you know it's one thing to have a message it's another thing to have a method and you've got both uh, that enable people to change to become empowered and you know to bring back inspiration you know bring it back in a whole new fresh way thank you for all that you do and one last question you know What's your personal message? What would you like to leave us with today? Um, get connected to the highest, most loving, most intuitive part of yourself. That one would never, <laughs> you would never regret that. Mm. Because being close to your true self, that's where your true self is. The part that wants to make a difference, the part that wants to love yourself and others, the part that wants to create and express and inspire, the part that wants to live a full, vibrant life, embracing everything, that's the one to follow. I love it. Nomi, thank you so much for today. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much Pat. Uh, uh, and I wanted to say to everyone that, you know, go ahead and check out, you know, some of the upcoming uh, classes that uh, uh, Nomi has, Gates of Power. Um, and folks can find all that on your website, right? Yes. Awesome. Uh, yes. And so, or, for or the, email me, email me, and I'll I'll respond, or call, and I'll respond. Yeah, and I love that. Yes, let's pick up the phone and call. That is so absolutely still 
a great way to connect. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Nomi. We're going to take a short break, everyone. We'll be right back. Are you all ready for it? Yeah, stay tuned. Beyond Past Lives. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. 